Good morning. This happened. It's um, Saturday the 29th. Uh, it's almost 9 o'clock. 10 to 9. I woke up pretty early. Like, Joe woke me up at like half past 6 by messaging me and I was like, meh. I didn't want to wake up then, but I kind of just basically led there until like 8 o'clock. And I was like, yeah, I'm not sleeping, so I might as well, you know, arise. So I have. Like I said, it's just just about to turn nine. Does that make any sense? Maybe. Bear with. I'm going to take these steroids for my lungs. Um, yeah. I can't function yet today. Basically, I'm going to go have a shower. I need to wash my hair. And then I'm meeting my friend Kerry in town. We're gonna go do some shopping and go for like coffee and all that jazz. So my hair is greasy AF right now. Like I swear to God. Um, I just thought I would do like a weekend vlog this weekend because I've got a Tesco food shop going tomorrow. And I thought, why not show you? But it'd be a bit weird if I literally just did a food shop or a food haul. Although people do them, don't they? So maybe it wouldn't have been that weird. I don't know. But here's the introduction to it. Um, then basically my plan is I might do a week of vlogs again next week. So from the 31st up to Thursday. Possibly, but I, I mean nothing's happening. I'm literally just going to work. So if I have anything to talk about, I might do it. And then I'm gonna do a long weekend vlog from, well, probably be from the Thursday actually because I go up to see Joe on Thursday, and then we're doing something really exciting this weekend. So I wanted to vlog it. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be like its own separate vlog, probably. Hence why I'm thinking weekly vlog up till then blah 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 but then if I added in this it might be too long so I don't know see how it goes if this is still reasonably short and the rest of the week is short I'll put it together but if not there'll be two separate ones and then another weekend one so yeah I never upload them like as soon as they're done though so it's time irrelevant but I don't really mention anything of any importance dates wise are oh, you gone um so yeah i've put i managed to already put a load of washing on this morning i have another one to do so in an hour when that's done i'll put my other one on and then hopefully go into town um oh my battery's dying of course so i'm gonna have to change that over but yeah i'm gonna go wash my hair because like that it's just fucking ming Right now. Does anyone use minging? The term minging anymore? Minging? Minning? Ming? I don't know, I've got cold. So, I'll catch you later. Oh, look at him. He's got his own fucking island foo freaking postcode. Oh. When your makeup was going so well. I literally finished all of it, done my setting spray, and I was like, right, then I'll do my mascara after. Really? Got it, like, up here and what have you, but I can deal with that. But really? Really? This lighting, though, it's just not cute. Let's try in the bathroom. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> Here. Um, it's half past ten. I'm ready. I've just texted my friend. Well, I texted her about half hour or so ago, just saying, "Are you up?" So she says she's literally just about to jump in the shower. I'm ready, which is good because I have to go to hers to drop some stuff off, and then I'm gonna get the bus into town with her from there. So I need to leave in a bit anyway. But I thought I'd give you an OTD. I would. I don't have a full length mirror. Like, where is my full? Oh, it's in Salisbury still. <laughs> um. And have no means of getting it here, unfortunately, at the moment. So, how are we going to do this? Let's just maybe sit you up here. 
So, I've just got this top on from H&M. It's quite recent. I'm pretty sure they do still have it. It's just really nice and just flows over all the horrible bits. It's a really nice arm length. It's not, I don't like short sleeve. I don't think they look right. And I don't like long sleeves. So I think that's really cute. Like lengthwise, I've got some just high waisted black skinny jeans and my white converse. And I'm really awkward. Um, makeup, pretty basic. It is my normal like every day. Although today, Yesterday and today, I've finally been using my Rosie for autograph, you know, the Rosie, Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Is that who it is? I feel really bad if I've totally said that wrong. Um, yeah, the Love Rosie range for m &S range autograph, which are fully cruelty free. All of their products are, and as, her, as are hers. And when this stops, is it even in fact, I don't even know. But this is the Copper Gold Rush palette. And I've used this for the last two days and I'm in love with it, holy crap. And I've actually put eyeliner on for the first time in like forever. And these spots though, I don't actually, like I run out of my concealer that I was using and the only other proper one that's actually kind of coverage and not just brightening that I have is the e.l.f. No, it's not. <laughs> what? The NYX HD one, that one. But it makes me break out, so I can't use it. <sighs> Pain in the ass. But anyway, um, I'm gonna go now. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to take my camera slash even try and vlog whilst in town because payday weekend is generally the weekend in Southampton and it's going to be fucking mental, so. Yeah, I might maybe do a mini haul when I get back because I don't plan on buying that much. I'm just gonna maybe try and get a couple of Christmas bits. But other than that, I'm pretty skin, even though it was payday yesterday. <laughs> I got emergency taxed. Brilliant! So yeah, I'm kind of lacking 131 pound. Thank you, tax man. Thank you. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go head over to my friends and drop off his, these bits and go to town. And I'll see you later. I look so dishevelled. Ugh. You know when you just like catch yourself and you're like, shit, have I looked like this all day? Probably. Um, but yeah, I don't really have many other plans for this afternoon and stuff. I'm just gonna have reheat your Chinese from last night for dinner and chill the fuck out. Probably have a bath or something. And yeah. So I'll probably just catch you tomorrow and show you my ever so exciting Tesco delivery when it comes at like between I think seven and seven and eleven, seven and ten o'clock at night. So yeah, because that's totally the only reason I'm doing a weekend vlog to show you my Tesco food job without it seeming like weird. So yeah, I see you then. Bye. Good morning. It's <laughs> Sunday. It's ten o'clock. Keep showing you my phone, and I don't know why because you can't bloody see it. Got to come back. So I'm like bright eyed, bright eyed and brushy, brushy tipped off. <laughs> Clearly not. I'm bright eyed and bushy tailed this morning. I probably woke up about half past six, seven o'clock. Like, okay, let's, let's, let's do this. <laughs> but no. So I just got ready. I'm wearing literally exactly the same what, as what I wore yesterday. My black skinny jeans, H&M top. I'm going to wear my Converse again. Because, do you know what? I don't even care. I'm literally just popping into town. I wanted to get a couple of Christmas presents for Joe, um, because I saw what I wanted to get yesterday, but obviously because I don't drive, um, there was no way of me kind of getting it home on a bus. It's just really awkward. So hopefully I'm gonna go pick it up today. And yeah, I just have to go up into the loft annoyingly and put some stuff up there that I bought yesterday as presents. And I need to get the suitcase down and I need to get like some bubble wrap and stuff because I'm doing a box swap with Salt Life Wife, Julie, here on YouTube and I need to send that next week. Well, it's probably going to have to be next weekend. We agreed like next weekend, obviously because this is Sunday. We agreed next weekend, but I'm away, like I'm in London all weekend so UPS can't come pick it up because I'm not here. Um, so I'm gonna have to try and fit that in some point next week. I don't know how it's gonna work because I'm at work. Like, I leave the house at half eight and I don't go home till seven, so it's gonna be interesting. But yeah, so I need to go up into the loft and get some 
bubble wrap and stuff and then yeah i'll catch you later bye so I am back, it's, well, I got back a hell of a long time ago, it's half past four now, and I just need to start on, ooh, um, packing up Julie's stuff. I got me some bubble wrap, some really cool bubble wrap to have a line, kind of the bottom, hopefully the top, and I'm going to wrap everything in brown paper, because that's adorable, and I want it to be like Christmas. I look like death. But yeah, so I just wanted to, um give a little bit of a shout out to some sweets that my friend Kerry mentioned these to me yesterday and I saw them in Asda and I was like I need them oh my god this, are they called squishy yeah squishies basically they're drumsticks but soft they're like normal jelly sweets they are so good <gasps> and they don't have lactose in them and they're gluten free so yay um yeah so I'm gonna <laughs> um, sort Julie's box out and hopefully I'm going to have a nice bath tonight like I might try one of my bath bombs because last weekend maybe as you see this I'm not sure um, I did a Lush haul the link, I'll try and leave a link down below um, and yeah I've got some nice cool stuff and I've been really like uninspired when it comes to having a bath recently I like, I feel like I really want a bath just to like chill out and then I'm getting and I'm like within five minutes I'm bored so I might try a nice cool bath bomb today see how it goes so um, I'll show you that if I do have it and also I got a text from Tesco's because my delivery slot was between 7 and 10 and it said we intend to get to you between 9 and 10 of course you do on a Sunday night <laughs> brilliant thanks Tesco's so yeah I'll probably my grandparents are here at the moment so I'm being quite unsociable um they're, they're here at the moment so once they go home that sounds really horrible I couldn't think of any other way to say that when they leave I'm gonna have a bath so I'll show you my bath bomb and then I will show you my Tesco what I look like I've got highlighter on I literally have nothing on that is that that is oil pure oil look at that look at that Room, so yeah, I'll catch you later. You get better. Again, Vicky, it's just before nine. Oh, hello, that, that lighting is not cute. Um, I got a text like earlier saying my delivery slot would be between nine and ten, I think I mentioned. And he came and he was like, Oh, if there was a way of you contacting us, because I've already been around the area today, and I was like, What? But anyway, I'm gonna quickly show you what I've got and put it all away before it like defrosts and eat it. Oh my god, it's like over there, it's over there. I figure it's probably easier to do it this way. So, first off, I got part 
a jar of pasta sauce or pasta bake I suppose so it does me like two meals I got a cabinet of chestnut mushrooms which I love seafood sticks again I really quite like them just to snack on oh bacon medallions and I got the Tesco finest ones unsmoked of course um, because they're the same price at the moment as the regular bacon medallions and I'm sure the regular ones like come out with a shit ton of water and I can't deal with that. Um, I got these Trito um, roast potatoes so it's like roast potatoes and sliced up Trito and stuff and that's really quite nice to me. I think there's bread peppers in there as well. Oh yeah, peppers, onions and Trito. So it's good because I can like divide that probably into two or three which is good. I got some free from gluten and wheat basically Kit Kats, but I realised they're not milk free. Oops. A half a cucumber. These naked cocoa orange fruit and nut, just like bite things. Pack of uh, free from penne. Good potato chips, so again, that'll be two or three meals, I'm not quite sure. Got an aubergine, or if you're from the States, an eggplant. Planet of mixed grapes, and I've got the red and the green baby corn, sweet potato mash. Oh, they've obviously changed their packaging. <laughs> so I've got two of them. I think I'll put one in the freezer. I think one of them even does need two meals as well. Um, broccoli for us, these and these, and these two, all in like three for twos. Awesome. I got some celery. And of course, my obligatory hummus to go with it. Frozen spinach, because I put that in like curries and stir fries and what have you. Free from dough balls. Far too excited about that. Crispy potatoes, again, a couple of meals for me. I, all this stuff I'm pretty much going to freeze. Oh, vegan ice cream. Far too excited. I uh, got some cherry tomatoes vegetable like stock pots with like the jelly ones two pots of drinking chocolate because that's how I make my mocha a kind of you know like the selection not selection box but you know like the multi packs of small cereal you can get I got them and then the free from ones and there's four different ones so it just means I can try them out and kind of see what they're like um free from honey flakes just because they were gluten free and I had to spend over £40 to get it um, to not pay for four, not pay £4 for delivery so I was just like right I'll put them in just to boost it over and I got two packs of prom cocktail walkers because they're like £2 I want to say something of that ilk my face looks terrible um, so yeah I'm going to pop all this away this may be it for this vlog, might, if, depending how much I get between Monday and Thursday, Monday and Wednesday I suppose, put them into this, if not I will see you probably next week.